Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Welcome to another Fun Friday! Ah, I'm so excited! I hope you guys are too. In this video, as you can see, I'm going to be stuffing my Fun Friday folder and I have some happy mail. So if you are interested in seeing any of those things, please be sure to stay tuned! Okie dokie. So I'm going to put this to the side and let's go through the happy mail first. And this happy mail is hilarious. So my very, very, very favorite subscriber in the whole world, aka mommy, <laughs> sent me a little present. And it was so funny because in one of my videos, she commented and asked me, did you get my little surprise? And I'm like, no. So my mom is the most amazing and supportive mom like ever. She actually orders from my shop. And she, I think, was the first person to ever send me money on coffee, Kofi, as a donation. Coffee. I call it coffee. Um, but she was like the first person that ever did that. She watches my videos. She's always commenting. So shout out to my mom. But she watched the video where I broke my bell. <laughs> and so she sent me another one. How cute. So this one says ring for look. And then she always sends me socks because she knows that I'm obsessed. So I'm excited about those. Super cute. But yeah, I have like a sock thing. I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, those are cute. So, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, snap. It doesn't have toes. Mom, <laughs> well, what kind of shoes do you wear with these? They don't have, what are these for? Mom, okay, now comment below and tell me what these are for because they don't have toes and I don't know. Tomorrow, you'll see mostly sunny weather. Rude. Y'all <laughs> see how, y'all see how she be doing me? Rude. Anyway, mom, let me know what these are for because I don't I don't know what to do with a sock that doesn't have feet. I don't know, but they're cute. I love this color. So anyway, it's a funny story. She kept asking me, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? And I was like, nope. So she's like, okay, well, I'm just going to send it again. Meanwhile, I had no idea what it was. No, I, no idea because she wouldn't tell me because it was a surprise. So then she sends it again. And here is... <laughs> uh, if I can open it. Take number two. <laughs> so another pair of footless socks. <laughs> and literally the same bell. <laughs> that is hilarious. But the funniest thing about all of this is they literally came on the same day. Literally. So for whatever reason, it zigged when it should have zagged in the mail. And both of these things came on the same day. So thank you, mommy. I love them. And now it's nice to have a backup bell. So, so far, my mom has literally bought all of my bells. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this one here. And I'm going to save this little one too. So I have those two bells. And I will put this one to the side as a backup bell. So thanks, mom. And don't forget to comment and let me know what these socks for. All right, so then I also have this, and who's this from? Because I don't remember. G and K Designs and Budgets. I did place a small order with her shop because in case you are new here and you not are not aware, I am obsessed with Stitch. So she gave me this, which is a freebie, and is super cute. It's a hundred dollar total little Stitch Savings Challenge for Christmas. I don't really necessarily stuff for Christmas, but I will just do this and then put it in my like holiday binder in general. Super cute. And thank you so much, please. Oh, that's cute. Okay, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely will give you a rating because I am also an Etsy seller, so I know how important those ratings are. And speaking of... And I hope it's not one of you because I'm about to throw a little bit of shade. <laughs> so I hope it wasn't one of you. And if it was one of you, stop it. So someone ordered something. I'm not even going to say what it is. Someone ordered something and left a review. 
I mean, it wasn't necessarily negative in comment, but it was negative in stars. And so now like my review rating has gone down because they ordered the wrong thing. And I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Why is it my fault? <laughs> Why is it my fault that you ordered the wrong thing? Like, why is the rating bad that you ordered the wrong thing? So it's not that the product was bad. It was just that that's not what they had intended to order. So I, I need, and I'm just going to put this out here. We need, especially in the Etsy community, we need for everyone that shops on Etsy to realize that A, we are not a factory. We are not a company. We are not, you know, we're not. We're people that more than likely work in their kitchens, dining rooms, bedrooms, living rooms, under the table, on the table, on the bed, wherever you may have to be in that particular situation. And we are 90% of the time probably small if you're shopping with us on Etsy. Because if we were big, <laughs> we would be at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's or Walmart or Target or wherever. So when you put comments <laughs> that are negative-ish, it just, it just, it hurts. Like it, it hurts personally. Um, and so like literally I read that message like first thing in the morning and it like shot my morning. Cause I'm like, dang, <laughs> like it, it just totally changed the vibe of my morning. Um, and so that's something that I'm going to stop doing, like stop reading reviews in the morning. Cause clearly it could go left. Um, but yeah, just, just be mindful of that. And that's why I always leave that be kind or be quiet at the end of my videos, because in reality, some things just, they just don't really have to be, they don't really have to be said. Like, they don't, everything doesn't have to be said. If you don't like something, you just move on. Uh, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things you don't like about, let's say like Target and you still go, you know, <laughs> or there's a lot of things you may not like about work, but, but you still go. So it's like, you know, kind of extend that same grace to to people, especially sellers on Etsy, because at the end of the day, some of us worked really, 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 really hard to get the star seller, you know, badge. And I'm like, so to lose that for something that I didn't even actually do wrong would be very upsetting to me personally. Some people probably don't even care. But I do. Like I take that. I'm, I want to be a Chick-fil-A service type provider, like my pleasure. <laughs> And so I'm like, so if you get something and it's wrong or you get something and you're like, that's not what I bought, you messed up, whatever. I would prefer that you like message me and say, hey, Chica, you screwed up. Uh, if you could fix that for me, that would be great. And I have no problem doing that. And I'm sure most of us have no problem doing that because again, we are human <laughs> and we make errors. So instead of like, you know, putting the yuck on the comments and the stars and all that. If you could just kind of inbox people and then if they don't respond, do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. But like give the give a smaller shop the opportunity to make something right before you automatically leave a bad review. Cuz I'm willing to bet that most of us if you go to Walmart and they jack or you go to McDonald's and they jack your food up, you're not leaving a review on Yelp. You mad and you yelling and you fussing, but I bet you're not going on there and you leaving a negative, I'm going to give you a one-star review. You're just not. So I'm like, let's, let's not do that to small people either. <laughs> let's not extend the same grace that you give to big companies, extend that same grace to small companies. And that's that because that's not even what we're here for. But I had to, I had to get that off my chest and we friends. So yeah. Anyway, moving on. So... <laughs> This was the freebie. This is what I ordered. The Stitch Savings Book. Oh my gosh. I love it. So I have this little envelope. It comes with this challenge. Oh, that's, oh, it's double-sided. That, so that's fun. It's a scratch off on the back. Here's another scratch off. Roll and save. Stitch bingo. Fun. Oh, some bingo instructions. Huh. Are these the cards? 
Let's see. Are these the cards? Oh, these are the cards. Fun. Okay. One, two, 24. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So <laughs> here's the cards. <laughs> Bora Bingo. I love the little cash breakdown sheet. That's super cute. Um, Stitches Donuts. Cute. I too love donut stitch. So we are the same. And then a little like icon, you choose the amount kind of thing. And then there's the back cover. That is so cute. And I love the puff. Oh, I love the puff. And then of course you get the cash breakdown and then your cards. And so I'm actually going to, if I can, nope, I'll do it later. But I want to keep all that together so I don't lose it. But anyway, G&K Designs, so cute. I love it. Thank you. Sorry I went on a rant in the middle of your review, but I love it. And I will definitely give you a five-star review and say some nice words. So, yay. All right. And then last but not least, because I'm sure this video is already long and it's not even supposed to be. This came from Kimberly uh, West Virginia. I think that's her channel name. All things Kimberly West Virginia. Um, so I purchased her group play that she is going to do for April because I was watching one of her videos and she had it and I was excited about it. So I grabbed that. Oh, and she always sent, this is the freebie she sent. Cute. So the amounts, ooh, 15 is spicy. So the amounts are between one and 15. And then this is the actual group play that we will be doing in April. So it is April. Okay, I need to find out about this because I should probably be starting this soon. Um, so I'm going to put this in my group play binder. And then this, I'm going to add to my mini Mondays rotation. All right. So, but I wanted to put that on the group play binders right now so I don't forget. Okay. Let's get to Friday. <sighs> there are a few of these left on my Etsy shop. So if you are interested in picking it up, please make sure if you want this one, you select the one that says Fun Friday Butterfly. And if you want the other one, you select the one that just says Fun Friday, cause, cause they're different. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 63. It's so funny cause I literally stuff these like a week ahead and <laughs> I never remember how much money I put in here. So it's like just as mystery to you guys as it is to me. Okay, so in the number one spot, we have this one, which I made every single butterfly, $5. In the number two spot, we have our Take Flight, our $2 challenge. In number three, we have this one, which is a partial roll and save, and then also a just, you know, check it off. So each butterfly in this little cluster is a dollar. We have this one in number four, which is also a roll and save. Pretty Wings has not gotten anything yet. That'll be number five. And then Spread Your Funds is in the number six place today. I do have my Dice Tower. So let's get going. We have five, finally. <laughs> let's roll. We got a four. One, two, three, four. And I am not counting this. Ooh, shucks. I'm not counting this till the end. It's, oh, okay. All right. So you, you was like, man. Seven. So we're going to take these out and get a five. Um, anyway, I was saying that I'm not counting these until the end. So sorry in advance if that bothers you. We're going to do, let's roll this first. Time. Okay. If you're really dope at math, you can probably like figure out <laughs> which which each one of them has right now. Um, let's do two. Do I have three? Okay, good. One, two, three. Switch that one out. I do try to like condense a little bit as I go, just because. I don't want the envelopes to get stressed. This one gets five. 
I hope everyone is doing well and that you had a good week for if you did not have a good week then I'm sad and I hope you have a better weekend my week was a week <laughs> we are still counting down the days to end the school year because this year has been a rough one but it's almost almost over all right four so we have a three this time one two three five okay i love how this one's like Mwahaha! give me all the monies <laughs> four again okay two Starting to think I was just going to keep rolling the same two numbers. Okay. Four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh oh. This might be my last. My last hurrah, guys. Five again. And. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Five, no! Ah. Boo! Okay, so I owe this one a dollar and I already have a slip ready, so we'll go with that. I am so sick of these IOUs because it is not like IOUs are bad. You know, they're cool. But what happens is when you have an IOU, it takes away from the money that you have, you know, for your next time. Because, like, I don't pull extra money to cover the IOU. I just pay the IOU, and then whatever's left is what is left. So, luckily, it's only a dollar, so I'm going to stop whining about it. But it'd be great if I didn't have IOUs. If the dice would just roll the way I need them to roll. Sorry, Take Flight. You really got, uh, ugh. You got neglected today. Maybe next week will be your turn to shine. All right. Almost there. I'm almost there. Okay. And this one. All right, you guys. And that is it i hope you enjoyed this video again sorry it was rambly and then i got on my little soapbox but some things just need to be said we can't have all fun and games here <laughs> i am a teacher so sometimes you gotta just teach some people some things uh it just, it is what it is. But I thank you guys for being here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would be honored if you would give it a thumbs up. And then also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love it. If you would subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video and come back for the next one. That'll be tomorrow, Saturday. <laughs> And there will also be another video on Sunday and then Monday again. And it just keeps on going and going and going, hopefully for a much, much, much longer time. But I think you guys be safe, be kind, or be quiet, be well, and I'll catch you in the next one.